Hey there folks, and it's time for another update. This time, it's more medical, because it's about medic and implants. In this review, I'm gonna talk about things that caught my eye and might catch yours. And so, let's start. On the top of the pile, we have implants. So basically, they are like perks that give you some sort of advantage or buff on the field. For example, Sniper can hold his breath longer, or you don't receive any effects from concussion or EMP grenades, and so on and on. The thing is, community quite dislike this idea of implants being uh, put in the game, because uh, all or most of them think that it's more like pay to win situation here. But the thing is, you'll get those implants for free whenever you earn experience. And of course, you can buy implants by wasting some of your station cash or certification points which I think is very good idea. The thing is, still, implants might be overpowered or giving you too much of the buff uh, sort of way. For example, third tier regeneration. It will restore your full health in just about 10 seconds. And I think that that's not really balanced. Nevertheless, I think that there is still a lot of balancing issues with the implants that must be done already, and we'll see how that goes in the future. Currently, we just have to test it and give feedback to developers, so guys, let's get on it. Anyways, let's move on to the next big thing on our pile, the medic update. So the first thing off this big piece is medic's ass rifles, oh I'm sorry, assault rifles. Um, each rifle has uh, empire specific traits, uh, for example. NC has hard hitting but slow firing rifle, TR has fast firing but uh, low damaging rifle, while VS, well, we had kind of weird process of getting this rifle. At first it was 2 round burst, then 3 round burst, and now I can say that it's full automatic, so yeah, it's somewhere in the middle between both of them. Nevertheless, they all are pretty interesting, although I'm yet again disappointed by NC's rifle, which looks like yet another simpleton rifle. It's not a Gauss rifle, for crying out loud, it would be more fun to have that. And it's also worth mentioning that finally Medic gets access to battle rifle. Oh, also, Nanai Systems have taken advice from NC, yet again, to make a shotgun. This time it's for infantry. As for the shotgun itself, it will have fast fire rate, but reload mechanism will be the same as pump action ones. Oh, and it's also supposed to be more effective than other shotguns in distance, so... Yeah, well, we'll see how this works out. Oh yeah, and the last thing about medic update is that finally medics will have reason to stay in Sunderers, because they will be healing everyone around the vehicle they are sitting in with a trireme passive ability. Of course, not in big radius. And so we go on with smaller things. Okay, here's a good one. Now you'll be able to put different colored laser sights on your underboss and commissioner. Oh, and did you know that they finally fixed decoy grenades? Did you know that they weren't working? Oh my god, it's maybe because nobody used them! But in all seriousness, developers, please just remove that useless piece of whatever thing is that and replace it with smoke, please. I mean, come on, smoke can be a good distraction and also it would help infiltrate or to infiltrate, obviously, because it would cover some place and uh, help you go through cloaked and, and whatever. Basically, just give us smoke, please. Anyways, moving on, you guys were bitching and moaning about harasser and flash being so flippity floppity and hard to use or whatever. Uh, now there is some fix on that part, so you might expect some better handling on those two vehicles. Oh, and there's really interesting change. Uh, the vehicle spawn, the normal vehicle where you can spawn flash harasser and thunderer, now will have lightning to spawn. Oh, and large outposts will now be able to spawn also galaxies. So galaxies out the ass. So guys, be prepared for Trooper Pooper Invasion. Anyways, there are two last changes that I want to talk about, and the first one is about AV Turret getting its own ribbon. So then there is a question, why don't developers introduce hacking and recon ribbons? I mean, come on, why not? Anyways, moving on, so there is a change for recoil mechanism on Phantom Sniper Rifle. Basically, Phantom and its uh, equivalents from other factions 
bullets, uh, whenever you were shooting them, were basically going up and to the right with the recoil. It was kind of a bug, so they removed it finally and it only goes upwards. So there, those are the changes that caught my eye. Uh, tell me what you think about these new changes and maybe what are your thoughts on implants or medic update or whatever. Either which way, I hope you enjoy my little review and I'll try to keep you informed in the future as well. Oh, and one more thing, whoever made those patch notes did a good job because they are sort of hilarious and interesting to read.